All right, so we have this wall that's in terrible shape. I will admit that this wall on the barn is about the worst on the entire building, structurally. You can see it's wood. Um, you can see the size of these support members here, how wide they are. Um, but it is collapsing, it is falling out. Um, so this whole wall had me thinking a couple times. Um, also, whatever this is, they built this secondary support structure. Now, this would have been back in probably the 70s or even the 60s because these top cross members were no longer sitting on the sill for the outside of the barn. It collapsed out, pushed itself out, and they had to build this to help hold it. So this wall is no good for, in my opinion, it needs work. I'll put it that way. Um, and it's going to take a lot of money. And here again, this is where we're dreaming. We're just having fun. We're playing a game here. <laughs> If it was doable, I don't like wood um, in the dairy barn. Um, this wall should get replaced with a block, cement block wall. This entire wall, it's, it's probably 100 feet long, uh, 80, 90 feet long. Um, this whole wall should get replaced with block. And uh, I-beam, steel I-beam, and the barn should be supported correctly with a cement block wall. Now, what I was thinking, now this is where it's it's a really big ambitious thing, but we're, like I said, we're just having fun here. Being that the milk house is so small and there's nothing in there and it's kind of, um, the ceiling's too low, there's not a lot of room in there. Being that I only have 39 stalls to milk cows in, and being that I have that free stall barn area out there where my shop is that you guys have seen, um, that is 120 feet long, that free stall area. What I was thinking, <laughs> and it's going to cost a fortune, but what I had thoughts of doing and the way it should be done to make this the most profitable uh, operation, to have them, uh, as many cows as you can, I would put free stalls out in that free stall barn, actual free stalls. And... This in here, I would have the 39 cows in the stall barn here. About, uh, I'd say about halfway through here, I would remove, let's say, four stalls. We'll take four stalls out and make a, a walkway here, an in and an out. Being that this needs a new, new uh, wall and work done to it, we build a block wall on either side to support it. We build an addition on out this way, out on the outside of the barn. We'll put an addition out this way with a milking parlor and a new milk house. <laughs> there went a half a million dollars. But anyway, that's how you could do it. Um, like I said, you can have the 55 cows out in the free stall, and you can feed them out there, bed them out there, clean out with a skid loader. Have 30, we'll say 35 because we're going to be removing some stalls. 35 cows in here. So 55 plus 35, uh, you got a, a little bit more of an operation as far as uh, milking. You've got a milking parlor, so you can save your knees. I don't like milking in a parlor. I do like stanchion milking. But this barn, you can't add on that way and you can't add on that way. And it is what it is. Uh, this is the footprint. And the only way to uh, make it all a stanchion barn is to build a new barn <laughs> and that uh, when you come down to it some of the repairs I'm talking about it might be cheaper to just go ahead and build a new barn <laughs> so like I say though we're just having fun here uh, this is just my thoughts if dairying was more profitable and doable um, that would be the thing to do being that this wall needs work to save the barn I beams steel I beams support this whole wall get cement block under it uh, new windows and go out with a Double eight uh, milking parlor. I think double eight would be a good size for about 85, 90 cows. And a new milk house. Yes, you'd have to build a new road over for the milk truck, but you'd have to do a road anyway because for a tractor trailer to get back here, you need a place for them to turn around. So anyway, that was some uh, <laughs> pretty ambitious ideas there, but it is doable. Um, it, it, well, it's not doable. It's just that's what how it should be um, to be profitable. So um, now back to the cheap way. Yes, what I could do is maybe try to pick up some uh, I beams, try to get something in here lifted up, and get some uh, jack posts underneath to help hold this. But it's gonna be something that's gonna have to be addressed uh, in the future. This whole wall is pushing out. The whole structure of the barn wants to fall out this way now. Um, I've done it over at the other farm with cables and stuff to help pull the cross members over to help uh, strengthen it. 
but um, hey, there's just nothing. It starts down at the foundation. The foundation is pitching away and it's taking this whole wall out with it. And a barn's only as good as its foundation. So you're kind of stuck in that. What do you do? Do you spend all the money just to get the wall fixed cheaply and still have issues or um, get some steel I-beams and some cement blocks to support it? So anyway, it's enough of that. I spent enough money on that uh, segment. We'll move on. All right, and as I said before, there is no gutter cleaner in this barn. Um, there was at one time, it was sold at the auction. You can see this little area here that they had for the gutter cleaner to go out. It actually went out um, where the building is falling apart there. It would go out and uh, go up onto a cement pad. There's a cement pad out there where you used to park your manure spreader and you fill the spreader. You'd have to spread every day which there's still a lot of dairies that do that. You still could do that, maybe. I don't know what that, I know we're in the Chesapeake watershed and I know there's a huge controversy about pollution and uh, uh, it's not gonna be the best. So you're gonna have to go manure storage. So what do you do there? Uh, I'm kind of lucky with this farm out here um, where the gutter cleaner went out. There's enough room downhill to build a manure storage. And again, there I just spent a couple $100,000. Um, I don't know, you dairy farmers again, when I was milking cows, um, the uh, farmer that I worked on got a slurry store installed and it was through the uh, county extension, one of those deals. Anyway, I forget what the percentage was. He didn't have to pay for the whole thing, uh, just a portion of it. Um, his gutter cleaner would go into a pit. The pit would pump into the tank. Um, and then the tanker, we bought the liquid manure uh, spreader. That also was got on a grant, uh, some of it, there was a percentage. Um, I know here we're farming off the government again, but the government is making the rules that say you can't spread manure every day. There's a lot of farmers that would have spread manure every day. So if they want you to do this, I'm still in favor that saying the government should pay for it because they're the ones that made the rules. If you don't follow their rules, you can get in trouble. So yeah, <laughs> write me a check. You, you wrote the rules that said I can't spread manure every day and you want me to store it now and uh, buy expensive equipment now to haul the liquid manure once or twice a year. Um, yeah, I think uh, there's got to be something done there. So um, I wouldn't have any problem with that. There's plenty of space out here for a manure tank. The only problem is the house isn't too far away. So I remember in the spring when we were agitating uh, the way that would smell, but hey, it's just once or twice a year. So no gutter cleaner. Uh, the cheap way, I have seen gutter cleaners for sale. Uh, one of the things with a lot of dairies going out of business now is there's a lot of used dairy equipment for sale out there. Now I use gutter cleaner, you have to watch. Uh, how much was it used? Are the chains in good shape? Um, I did see one that was advertised. It was a little pricey, but it was in real nice condition, real nice shape. You can basically build what you need here. Again, cheap way. We'll get a gutter cleaner in. And the only thing I would know is you'd have to spread every day. So there's that. <laughs> All right, and coming around here, this is the second feed alley on the other side. Now you see there are cows with their heads this way and cows with their heads this way. Um, it's kind of narrow. Um, as far as feeding, there is a feed cart here. Uh, you can make a feed cart. Uh, we had used a feed cart on the dairy I was on, and we got a gas-powered, had a gas engine, a uh, feeder wagon that we would use, and uh, eventually got a weaver line battery-powered cart because that gas engine in the wintertime, it was pretty rough, and they're breathing that all the time. This is kind of narrow uh, through here just because of the stalls. I think you could get a feed cart through here. Uh, maybe you wouldn't have to do anything uh, for the first uh, 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, <laughs> But this gutter is lower. This gutter actually is a trench and this gutter is flat on the floor. So it'd be a little bit uh, It's kind of going downhill So any of the water from the water bowls that are getting splashed around here are eventually going to be down into this gutter and that feeds gonna get uh, uh, all soaked and everything so um, Something's got to be done here. I'm not quite sure what but this is a feed alley through here and then there's another row of stalls here, and I'll show you again, structural. And uh, we're just having fun here. I'm not doing any of this right now, but there's no gutter cleaner for this row of cattle. It's just one, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, and uh, there's a light here, hold on. I'll get that, oh, excuse me, I'll get that on. Here we go, a little bit of light here. Um, this here is just a blank gutter. It just goes all the way up and down. 
it's just a gutter. You'd have to hand shovel this. Um, my grandfather never had a gutter cleaner. He had to hand shovel it. And from stories my uncle told me, that was one of the biggest time consuming wastes of time on the farm. And uh, when you're busy, you're in the middle of making hay, um, having to come in the barn and hand shovel the manure, um, not fun. Um, not really sure what you could do there. And the other thing is this wall is collapsing. Um, this more or less is because there's no rain gutters on the top of the barn. Uh, there's no rain gutters up there and the water comes down and comes through the wall here. It freezes and pushes out all this dirt. This wall is probably five feet thick. I'm not kidding. <laughs> this wall has that many rocks in it and it goes pretty far that the barn's sitting on about a five foot rock wall. We don't have good height here either. I'm six foot two. I don't want a barn where I'd be hitting my head. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, yeah, that's what that is. It won't take a lot to fix that. We need rain gutters and what fell off here can stay off because five foot is gonna support this building. It just has to get cleaned out. Moving out through here, we have a sliding door. Um, this is where the manure spreader used to come in. We have a pad here. I showed you guys this area before. This was a maternity box stall area, all built out of wood. I tore the wood out uh, just because it was rotten. In here, you'd have to pour a cement floor. Um, and I do this one way or the other, whether it was uh, going for perfection or going for cheap. Um, you gotta get a cement floor in here, it's just dirt, and get some metal box stalls built. You do need, I probably could get two or three in here. I'm not sure, but uh, there's, see kind of what this is. Uh, no fans, there's no fans. They were sold at the auction. They're gone, you'd have to buy fans. You could do that used. Uh, this video is getting long. This might have to go into another part because I did not touch on the, let me turn the lights off here. This panel box, the electrical service would have to get replaced. Um, here's where my video is kind of going downhill because uh, there's just so much that has to be done. Um, it, it, from the 80s till today, in today's dairy, um, <laughs> like I say, this is just a fun video. I just want to show you guys what I'm up against, what's here, what isn't here, what should have been done years ago, uh, what should be done if it was going to be done today. Um, step one would probably to clean all the stuff out and see what you're working with. Step two, structural issues. Get the barn supported so it's not going to fall down on you. Step three, uh, get the stalls fixed up. Uh, step four, get water. Water's not a big deal. We can get water in here. That's, that's doable. That's not a major thing, not a major expense. We can get some water in here for the cows. We'd have to buy all the water bowls. They're gone. Um, like I said, we need a gutter cleaner. Uh, need a manure storage if it's illegal to spread every day. Um, feed cart, it's fine. I can use a wheelbarrow. So anyway, I ran, rambled on enough here, but this is kind of the tour again of the dairy barn and what's here and what isn't. Uh, like I said, fans, you can get those used. Um, probably bed with sawdust. There's a sawmill uh, not too far from here that you could get sawdust. Um, but here we are. I mean, uh, I know I get asked a lot of times. It would be something that I would like to do, but you can see what is here and what I'd be up against. Um, not to say that it couldn't be done, but um, to do all that, to just have 30, let's say you do it the cheap way, you have you get up to 39 cows. Is 39 cows going to pay all your bills and uh, make you be able to keep uh, moving on um, and uh, expanding? So... It is what it is, guys. So I just want to kind of answer this question in a lengthy video here. So um, I'm sure I missed a lot. I might come back and touch this on this subject again. So um, just uh, giving you a tour here. <laughs> now I'm starting, starting to get rambly here. I'm still thinking. But um, yeah, it's, I don't think daring is very feasible here. Um, it's a possibility, but uh, the... Uh, Money is always your issue. And then even if you had all the money in the world, is it still going to be something that's going to give you a return on your investment? Um, having a whole lot of money and being able to do whatever you want to do is uh, not sustainable even if you uh, make bad decisions with that money. So, I don't know. The answer might be to build a new barn. <laughs> So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had fun. Um, I'm not doing any of this stuff. I'm not going to be spending money on this kind of stuff yet. But just to answer your question, any dairy farmers out there want to comment, feel free. I'd love to read your comments. So thanks for watching.